We have been learning our multiplication facts, and we figured we really only need to learn 21 facts. That's right. If we learn 21 facts, we learn them all. How is that possible, you might ask? Well, first we take out the zeros because everyone knows zero times the number equals zero. That's easy. Then we take out the ones because everyone knows one times the number equals the number. Like one times five equals five, and one times 200 equals 200. Everyone knows that. The fives are super easy too because we know how to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. If you know how to count by five, you know how to multiply by five. We can take out the tens too because all you have to do when multiplying by 10 is add a zero onto the number you're multiplying by. For example, 10 times 6 equals 16, and 10 times 8 equals 80. We can also use the commutative property of multiplication to eliminate half of the problems. The commutative property says that the product of a multiplication problem does not change when you change the order of the so 6 times 4 is the same as 4 times 6. 8 times 9 is the same as 9 times 8. That's the commutative property. So after taking out all the easy stuff, we're left with only 21 facts to learn. And those facts are... 3 times 3, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, 6 times 6, 7 times 3, 7 times 4, 7 times 6, 7 times 7, 8 times 3, 8 times 4, 8 times 6, 8 times 7, 8 times 8, 9 times 3, 9 times 4, 9 times 6, 9 times 7, 9 times 8, and 9 times 5. So work on memorizing those 21 facts and you will be a multiplication master.